we are live. <laughs> All right, happy Friday. Happy Do Friday. Doing things a little bit differently today as far as technology is concerned. So, you know, I like to throw myself for a loop every once in a while and <laughs> not get too comfortable. I don't know. Um, so sorry, there was like a weird, uh, a awkward little um, moment there at the beginning, <laughs> beginning of this live. But welcome to episode number 63 of Five Minute Ish Friday. We're so excited to be um, live right now. And today we are going to talk about photos, um, which is super relevant to our lives, right, Kara? <laughs> and yes. Especially because. Kara and I, if you aren't aware, if you didn't catch last week's episode, um, we were in Albert Lee in Austin, Minnesota, um, where we were visiting our clients, Daisy Blue Naturals, and um, participating in their first ever Daisy Fest. Yeah. Uh, Casey, your screen is frozen. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here and on the live. Oh. Let me, let me close out of some things. I feel like that always helps. But yes, Daisy Fest was very fun. We took lots of pictures and I've been going through all of them um, and editing and all sorts of things. Yeah, so that's why we wanted to talk about um, photos today is we're gonna give five easy tips for taking photos like a pro. Um, you don't have to have fancy equipment necessarily. It's just a little, a, a few little things that are going to help elevate the quality of your photos, whether it's of products or people or scenery, whatever it might be. So <laughs> let's dig in. Sorry, I also got just really distracted by something on my phone. So. Well, I still can't see if you're moving or not, so I can't tell what's happening, but I'll go off of audio. Okay. Um, yeah, my face appears to still be frozen on the, on the live, but hopefully everyone can hear me just fine. Um, I look very grumpy <laughs> in that live stream, um, but that's the voice of, you know, being at home and having not so great Wi-Fi at the moment. So, um, so we're gonna start with these different tips and we just want to help everybody take really crisp, beautiful photos that captivate or catch the eye of your audience um, for all the right reasons, whether it's products that you are, product photos you're gonna fitting on your website or it's um, photos of just from the day-to-day -day behind the scenes of your business or nonprofit. Um, we just want to make sure that they look as beautiful and interesting as possible. Yes. So one of the biggest things for me is lighting. Lighting, lighting, lighting. It makes a huge difference to have good lighting. Yes. Um, and natural lighting is always best. Um, very ideal. <laughs> if, if you have a, a way to put natural light in front of your subject, not behind it, so that it really illuminates the front of it and doesn't create shadows. Like right now, so for our lives, we're normally in the office and we normally are at the front of the BizConnect office. And video is just the same too, right? So if we were going to take a picture, we would do the same thing where we would probably go up to the front of the office. We have that wall of windows with natural light flooding inside. Um, so if I'm going to take a selfie, I'm going to do the same thing. Or if I'm going to put a picture of a product or something up, if I had a retail store, I would want that natural light coming in on that product. And the other thing to share about lighting, I love, <laughs> I love talking about lighting. I don't know why. Lighting is, you know, it's one of the main things. I mean, if you have a very dark, full of shadows, it's editing can help a little bit, but it can only go so far. So lighting is a number one key for a good photo, for sure. Definitely. All right, what about angles, Kara? 
angles is a big one. So for right now, if you've noticed, I'm like moving around my computer because I personally don't like this angle. Um, angles are a big one. They can make or break a photo. Um, if you, you know, there's different ones. There's down below to up. There is straight on. There's up above to down. It really depends on, especially whether you're photographing a human, um, an event or a product. Um, so product, I usually try and get multiple angles and see later on which one is better. People, people are, have preferences. So especially if you're working with a girl, um, everyone see, has seen, you know, the Instagram um, type of things, you know, where most girls like you to take the picture either up from above or down from below. No one likes an up close and personal in face <laughs> business um, type of photo. So be aware of your angles and test them out, kind of move around. Um, when I take pictures, I kind of move around and, you know, try from different angles and see what it looks like to find what's best. Yeah, definitely. So I think, you know, with angles, there's a few different options, right? So if you're like, there's that flat lay thing that you can do, which is super cool. Um, but if you have a sandwich or a cheeseburger to photograph, you know, if you're a restaurant, then you don't want to do that from the top because all you're going to get is bun. And then like, I don't know if some like lettuce is sticking out from the edges. <laughs> um, so you want to do that like eye level, like squat down, get low. One of the best examples of this, I wish I, I, wish I would have thought to find it, but I've seen um, shared in a group of creatives that's mostly photographers with hundreds of thousands of them in there. This photographer shared that you know you probably have seen this amazing wedding photo that they took um, but what you didn't see is what it took to get that photo yep. so the person is actually like this photo is gorgeous it's this couple it's like kind of like a moody thunderstorm going on in the background um, but they're really illuminated and well lit um, and they look amazing but it's like a you can tell that the photographer was like down lower, but what you can't tell in the photo, what they showed a photo of themselves is that they were on the ground laying in a mud puddle, like on their stomach to take that photo. You do what you have to do to get a cool, good photo. That's for sure. Yeah, and dedication. Like Kara, when we were at Daisy Fest um, and we were done eating lunch and you went up to go start taking some photos of the musician Wayward who was singing at the time. Um, you went and you laid down on your belly on the grass in the middle of this field. I did. Because um, yeah. it's all about angles, right? You know, a big thing too is it's hard to photograph musicians sometimes because the mic's right in their face. Mm -hmm. So I was testing out a different angle, obviously laying on the grass um, to try and see if the angle would look better if you could see more of his face um, and not the microphone. Yeah, and it worked great. So um, do you want to do you want to share some of your photos? Sure. It's really throwing me off that I can't see your face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still here. I promise. Let's see. Um, some examples of photos so you can actually see visually what we're talking about and the differences um, in, in changing some of these aspects of your photography. So um, also is, you know, <clears throat> oh. I'm looking. Okay, I'm like, all I see is your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, another consideration to make to take great photos is what is the subject? So you're gonna take your photo a little bit differently if it's a human versus an inanimate object um, or a table display full of inanimate objects or um, a scenic view. So, um, so you wanna look at what the subject is and then compare that against the background. What's a good backdrop for them to be in front of um, is there too much going on? Is it too busy? Are there too many different objects? Um, or does the background and what's going on around them complement the photo or complement the subject? So, so on over there. 
So as you can see, this is from one of the pictures from when I was on the ground. And this way, the microphone is still there, obviously, but you can still see a little bit more of his face and kind of gives that view of, you know, kind of like a spotlight almost, like you're looking up going, oh. Right. And then we have, so for background, so as you can see with this next one I'll share. So first of all, our angle is slightly up, a little bit more head on, but slightly up. And as you can see the background, it's not, it's a little bit more greenery, but it's not too crazy. It's not, you know, um, sorry, my Alexa went off upstairs, but it's not too crazy. It goes with the coloring very nicely and people. So always ask if there's something too crazy um, or you can always move people around, but ask them, you know, if you're working on an event, ask them to smile, ask people to take pictures together. So as you can kind of see, Jenna looks so cute, but I kind of caught her off guard. So I was like, let's take a picture together. And then he was really, he was like, like he's like, well, I can't hug you or stand beside you in a picture, but let's do elbows. <laughs> What's next? Um, so next up is focus. And um, you're finally in focus. I can see with your face. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> that is good news. Um, so focus, um, it, you know, focus can be really seem kind of underrated, but it's really important. So what's going to be the focal point of your picture? Is it the like, is it just the full subject? Is it something smaller that the subject is holding? Or is it even something like it's their smile or maybe a product they're holding or what's behind them? Maybe they're not in focus, but what's behind them is. So this is a great example. Um, Southern Soda CBD oil, they were a Daisy Fest vendor. Um, but I love, love this, this photo because there was a lot, there was a lot on their table. All the vendor table, tables were packed full of products and things, really cool stuff. Um, but you did a really nice job with this photo because you picked one bottle to put into focus, blurred everything else out. Um, and so your eye just automatically focuses in on that one bottle and you read the label and you absorb all the information from it rather than if everything was in focus if you if it'd be way too busy and it would go back to that environmental factor of going okay the background is too much but because i used focus i didn't have to ask the owner, can I take this and move this somewhere else? Um, anything like that. So we were able to get a pretty good shot. The background's blurred, but I like that there's a second bottle in the background. It tells you that there are more. It's more, it's one of many, but it's blurred out. The main focus is on this main bottle and not all the other information around it. Yeah. Um, and like this was taken with a nice camera, but like I said earlier, you may not have to use um, a nice, like you don't have to buy a fancy camera. Um, iPhones are great. So if it was a person that you were wanting to take that picture of, you just gotta use that portrait mode that's on your iPhone or your Android device. So you can get that, that effect really easily without um, having to try too hard, or you can just take it into an editor afterwards, like, a, like some kind of editing app and manipulate it after you've taken it. Exactly, like this one, for instance, um, had a lot of other things going on around it, but my main focus was the limb and the basket and the furs. And so I focused that when I was taking the picture. And then when I was editing, I cropped it to have more of that focus, even more so on those products. And the forefront, you can see there's like a little, I think it was kind of like a bowl, but it's a little bit blurred out. You can still see it's there, but it really, if your eye goes to that first, be like, oh, it's blurry. So then your eye naturally travels up to the more in focus pieces. So Kira, I have to ask you, how many, how many shots does it take to get a good one, a, get a keeper? 
man, that is, this is my bonus tip for everyone. Take multiples because especially when you're in the moment and you're busy, you don't always have time to look at it to make sure, did this one take? So it's really important to take multiples because out of a grouping of maybe 20 to 40, you can have anywhere between one to five that might work. Um, it depends on the day. Sometimes I might have 10 that work and it's awesome and it's great, 10 out of 20. But sometimes just depending upon all of those different factors that we went over, there could be one out of 40 that works. And so, especially at events, when you're working, there's multiple people, there's things going around. You didn't personally set up the booth, they did. So, you know, you can't necessarily move things around. Um, you know, having multiples. And when I say multiples, yes, you're shooting multiples, but do multiples of the different things that we mentioned. So try different lighting, try different angles, um, try moving your subject around, whether it's a person or if it's an object, make, you know, check different, try different around, you know, environments and surroundings. Um, if you can kindly ask, Hey, can I take this product? Do you mind if I put it like in the grass or in the field or, um, can I have a person holding it? Try taking different things like that and try different. If you're on a table, someone has a table, try focusing on the different products like I did with the CBD oil. Yeah. One thing at a time, right? One subject at a time. Mm -hmm. um, I have one I want to show to you just to show like, uh, I had, I have an example, one that I took on my phone at the event, but I was doing mostly um, videos with the gimbal <laughs> at the event. So I didn't take a ton of photos. Um, I did take some with my camera that Kara's working on right now, but I do have one like overhead shot of uh, some beads that I think looks pretty cool. So just gonna share that real quick. If I can pull it up. You're frozen again. Of course I am. I it's open. real cute. Uh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Don't worry. I screenshotted it to save and share with you later. You're gonna capture this memory forever? Yes, because we have to prove to everyone. Oh my gosh, I can see it on my phone. <laughs> you kind of look like a who from Whoville going. That is horrific. It's really cute. <laughs> I need to never make that face again. So what is the picture? So here's the beads that you took. And iPhones today and just phones in general do a really good job. There are some fun tricks that you can do. If you have a YouTube account or a TikTok, there's lots of different things you can look up for phone photography of going in depth on the different um, tricks and edits and things you can do with an iPhone. Um, I'm sure there's something with Android as well. Yeah, um, so I'm having some severe technical difficulties and I can't get it pulled up, but I'll share it in the comments later. Um, Zoom is just not being friendly to me today. It's making me freeze in weird positions. Um, <laughs> and you know what? It's not life. It's life. We have technical difficulties as well. And you know, that's another tip. Always have a backup plan if you're doing a bit of photography. Uh, does someone have a backup camera? Can you use someone else's phone? Because technology has a mind of its own. Yeah. Is there, is there a plan you can go use and charge your stuff halfway through the event? Um, I had to do that at Fest because I bought that new gimbal and it didn't um, have a full charge before the event. So yeah, <laughs> so go, like, have maybe um, investing in a portable charger or um, if you have a camera, making sure you have a couple of batteries and that they're charged. Yep. Plan A, B, C, D. Yep. <laughs> have them all, all ready to go. But that's, I mean, we could go on and on about photos, but I just thought it was relevant and hopefully interesting to everyone to see. Um, and hopefully it's kind of spurred some creative ideas. If you have questions, drop them in the comments as always. We're always happy to jump in and answer whenever and wherever we can. 
Um, and I kind of want to do a photo challenge. What do you think about that, Kara? Ooh, for sure. Let's do a photo challenge. Uh, I will take a photo of something on one of my shelves in my fall, my new fall stuff, and I'll post it. So let's see what everyone can do with their phone today, just quickly. Yeah. Anything on your desk, uh, your yep. car, kitchen table, maybe uh, your food, your lunch. <laughs> Whatever you've got within, you know, don't, don't think too hard about it. Find a subject, take a photo, put it in the comments and uh, let's, let's, uh, let's do a little photo challenge, a Friday photo challenge. And Casey, see. I think you already win with um, your frozen screen right now. Well, Zoom wins. I didn't win for that. I can't take credit for that beautiful display of my messed up face. <laughs> Would love to, but it's not a thing. Um, okay, so do the photo challenge. Uh, drop a comp, drop a photo in here. Um, there might be a prize for people who participate. So how about that? Um, yeah. I think we can we can just do something fun like that other than that stay tuned uh we're gonna keep doing Fridays so <laughs> we'll be back next week um I'm not sure what we'll next yeah here soon probably in up probably uh here soon we're gonna talk start talking about preparing for the holiday season yes um, and everything that comes along with that marketing and design wise so if you're excited about the holidays, get even more excited because we're going to for a while. Um, but yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Have a lovely afternoon and a great weekend. And uh, we'll catch you next week. Bye. Bye. Uh, hold on. I can't get it to... My Zoom really doesn't like me today. It's like not even letting me in the live. <laughs> Maybe we are stuck here forever. We now have a reality show. <laughs> cool. Except with no producers, it's just 100% real. That's scary real. Let's, I'm going to play with my phone photography for the. I'm hitting the stop live stream button. I'm sorry for anyone who is stuck watching. Oh, now we have way more viewers than we had earlier. <laughs> <laughs>